Good afternoon. This is my submission to the challenge presented by the Royal Society of Chemistry and Hermes 2012. The challenge is to come up with a theory to explain why hot water freezes faster than cold water. And this is known as the Mpemba effect. And this is just my theory. It has not been proven yet by any type of scientific experimentation. This is just what I have come up with through my research to explain this phenomenon. Let's begin by talking about water. Water, as you already know, is the most abundant compound on Earth, as well as the most vital compound for life on Earth. Water itself consists of an oxygen atom covalently bonded to two hydrogen atoms. And those hydrogen atoms, hydrogen bond to nearby water to the oxygens of nearby water molecules. Normally, when a substance is hot, the molecules spread apart with lots of kinetic energy and entropy between each other, so the molecules are constantly moving around, breaking and forming intermolecular bonds between each other, and spreading apart and moving around when the temperature is high. But as the temperature decreases, especially when a compound decreases from the, from the liquid phase and cools down to the solid phase, the molecules tend to contract and come closer together and there's less kinetic energy between the molecules so as the, the temperature decreases the molecules contract and come closer together but water on the other hand acts like most other substances in the liquid phase where as the temperature is increasing the molecules are spreading apart and moving around and having a lot of kinetic energy between each other whereas when the temperature decreases the molecules tend to contract and come closer together but as soon as water cools down to the point that it transitions from the liquid phase to the solid phase the molecules do something very unique they actually expand and spread apart from each other forming the crystal lattice of ice and that's and they make these long wide bonds between each other when they form the solid phase when they form ice and this expansion of the water molecules is what causes an increase in the volume of ice compared to liquid water. And that increase in volume is what causes a decrease in density of ice. And that is why ice floats on top of liquid water. And that's also the reason why if pipes were to freeze with water inside of them, the pipes may burst because of the expanding of the water molecules between each other and if you've ever left a can of pop inside your freezer or inside your car in the middle of the winter, you'll notice that there's a big dent from the inside of the can. That's because the water molecules expand when they transition from the liquid phase to the solid phase, forming long, wide bonds between each other. The reason why I believe that hot water freezes faster than cold water is due to the position of the water molecules. Again, in cold water, the molecules are all close together and very contracted. But in hot water, the molecules are spread wide apart because of the kinetic energy and entropy between the molecules, which makes them in a better position to form that crystal lattice of ice. Whereas cold water takes longer to freeze because it has to go from being contracted and very close to each other to expanding and forming the crystal lattice at the same time. Whereas hot water is already in a better position to form the crystal lattice of ice and form those wide, longer bonds that ice has. And that's why I believe that hot water freezes faster than cold water because of the better positioning of hot water compared to cold water. Um, this is my, just my theory again. Um, I did my best to explain it to you guys. Uh, if you guys don't understand something or if I didn't explain anything well enough, just leave me a comment or send me a message. And uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.